We know the expression, right? Third time's a charm. My next guest, Terry, is counting on that. You see, Terry is engaged to her fiance, Robert, for the third time. Oh. Terry and Robert have been married and divorced. Oh. Then they were married and divorced again. Oh. And now they are engaged again. Oh. And each time they tied the knot, Terry would find evidence that Robert was cheating and she leaves him. Mm -hmm. Now, if Robert passes the lie detector test today, their third marriage will be a charm, according to Terry. And if he fails, it's three strikes and You're he's, done. he's gone. You're gone. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go through this timeline, Terry. Wh wh why did you divorce him the first time? Um, well, he was keeping in contact with his ex. But there's no evidence that he was messing with her, was there? No, no evidence. But you think he was? Yes, I do. And you Absolutely. divorced him. Damn right. Yeah. It's about, Maury, it's about making me happy. I am number one. Why did you take him back the second time? He promised things were going to change. And then what happened? He lied. I found pornography in his phone, three different websites, um, disappeared to Louisiana, to the casino. So then you divorced him again? Yes, I did. And then he comes back into your life a third time. Yes. And now you're engaged again. We are, but we're holding off on the ring because I break them. Why? Because it hurts them. Well, but 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 do you think he's still messing around? I do. Meanwhile, you've given up to be with, given up stuff to be with. I have, I've given up so much. Like what? Um, I had three horses. One that I nurtured for like three months. It had literally gotten attacked right there in my babies. And then all of a sudden, Robert does some strange things, even in your company. Apparently, he went over and kissed a bar waitress. Yes. <laughs> Was it, just, a, was it just a oh, peck? Oh, hell no. It was right on the lips. He's like, oh, it was right here in the corner. Right here in the corner. I'm not blind. I have 20-20. You invited Robert to attend a graduation ceremony, I did. Right? Fort Seal basic training for a friend of mine. Um, and he said, well, I can't miss work. You know, I, I want to do the right thing. So my daughter and I go to this graduation. I call him the next morning. No answer. No text message. Anything like that at all. We drive four and a half hours back. No sign of Robert. Well, I start calling the hospital, calling the police department, and then what do I do? I call his bank card. Hello, there's a $325 charge with the ATM withdrawal. That's the casino. Again? You damn right, again. He went to the casino rather than... He blew $700 and overdrew his account. Here's the thing. I, I know some people, you know, who mm -hmm. married a person twice, all mm -hmm. right? But I don't know anybody who's married the same person three times. Yeah. Absolutely. And you're about to do that. Yeah. If, if he passes, I will. This is what Robert had to say. Watch. The only reason I'm here today is to prove to my fiance, Terry, that I'm not a cheater. I admit that I put myself in stupid situations that look bad, but things aren't always what they seem. I have made bad decisions downloading certain apps and going on certain websites. But I was just looking. I'm not saying that I'm perfect, but I am saying that I'm not a cheater. Once I prove that I've been faithful to Terry, she needs to stop driving me crazy with these accusations so we can get married again and stay married this time. Everybody, here's Robert. See. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Robert. Move that over some more. You love her? Absolutely. Yeah, you love me so much. That's why you're out looking at little crackheads, right? And you can't even take care of what the hell's at you home. You know what? Huh? I'm, I'm three I, and you're done. I'm, I, Whatever. I've done some stupid things. And you, know, and you know what? You can you can talk all the crap you want to it's me. It's not crap, it's the truth. Whenever we find out the truth mm -hmm. here, hopefully you'll be able to start trusting yeah, me a little bit. You make bit up again. lie okay. after lie after lie. How come your ex girlfriends always seem to be around? My ex girlfriends, I'm sorry to jump in, but I have no flings. ex girlfriends. I've had They're one. Flings, little two night stands, big, no teeth. I've got my teeth. Do you see it? You see that? Huh? 
My deal is, yeah. yes, I've been around a lot of stupid people or immature yeah, you're people. Stupid. Or, yes, absolutely. Yeah, who, I'm the stupid. Hell, who the hell would walk out on this and go with a bitch that has no teeth? Someone, someone, someone that. That's why. Yeah, no, Robert, you said I need to look. It, seem, it seems every time you go to a casino, there's trouble. There's always trouble at a casino. Don't go. Well, why do you? Because I was partying, being stupid, and that's yeah, all I can say stupid. about it. So yeah. how come you make all these profiles on these sex sites? Yes, I've done some stupid things in my right. life. Right. Uh, none of this meant anything to me at So why all. did you keep on doing because it? Because I was huh? an idiot. Oh, no, he needed reassurance from other women. I have taken I don't care need of you. When sweetheart. you leave for three or four days and you lose a thirty dollar an hour job, I'm picking everything up. Let me tell you something. I pick everything up. That's that's the furthest thing from the truth. I finished that job. Was there a hickey on your neck? No, absolutely, right. yeah, absolutely right. not. Yeah. If and there scratches Maury, on his back. Maury, if there was and a hickey. trees in, in, the, in the field. That's why he had the scratches and the hickey on his uh, neck. I walked through the woods. Yeah, the woods. And but you I got was, a hickey very, on your neck. What, did very... a squirrel climb up on you and get Maybe. that neck? Maybe. Yeah. Wasn't you, whatever. Uh, are we ready to do this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Around the time you lied to Terry about going to the casino, did you shave your private area because you <laughs> yeah. were planning to sleep with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. You shut up! Get him away from me! You admitted to Terry. You admitted to Terry that you left the casino with a woman. Did you sleep with that woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> During your relationship with Terry, have you ever taken off your wedding ring to sleep with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. What? During your relationship with Terry, have you ever slept with any of your exes? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. During your relationship with Terry, have you come home in different clothes to hide the fact that you slept with another woman? You said no. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Now what? Lord, this little girl had lice in her hair. Okay, okay. Ratchet ass bitch. You're a ratchet ass Ralph, bitch. You're I a want to, ass wait bitch. a second, Ralph. Wait till we get back did to Did any home. of these acts occur after the divorce the second time? Um, it was all during the relationship. As oh. far as the casino goes, there's more involved with your your soon to be husband again. Yeah, than soon to be. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> You still think you've turned a leaf? I have not you done these things. Oh, so you're telling Sorry. me, you know what he said to me? He said, oh, I love you. so our relationship is based on a lie detector test? I said, oh, I said, the, the machine at the casino was, you better get away from him, I'll knock your ass you out. Know what? I mean, I swear. You know what I think, Robert? I think you ought to move somewhere else in terms of the restaurant. Backstage after the show. So you're saying in all of that time, you've never kissed another one? I've woman. never kissed no one, I've never touched another one. No, not one. Robert no insisted the lie detector test was wrong. Same the test is wrong. And executive producer Paul Fallhaber went to sit down with his fiance Terry. Do you believe the test? I do. Good. I do. Because the test is right. It hurts. Why'd you take him back the third time? Why? <laughs> because I love him. You knew it was gonna end up this way though, right? I figured there'd be like some, but I didn't think all of them that he would fail all of them. Well, no, I, had I think the next done. time he gets on his knees to propose, you really need to think twice about it. I'm done. You are not the father. <laughs>